Oh, hey everyone, this is uh, Big Country Time. Back here with you. I'll uh, be showing you some more uh, mystery boxes and uh, a Funko shop uh, opening also. So how's everyone doing out there today? So pretty excited. I got a, a new mystery box from uh, Toy USA. This will be my first uh, mystery box from them. It, it's, uh, it's a $60 damaged mystery box with a guaranteed value of $60. So we'll start off with that one. Um, did have a little bit of a scare. I got the box the other day and I noticed that uh, there was some damage on it on the actual packaging box. So we'll have, to, we'll have to see if that affects the pops in the box. You know, even though we have a sticker on there that says fragile, um, still, uh, still got some dents in it. So, uh, we open it up, we'll see what we got. So this is my first time using uh, Toy USA. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers uh, open up boxes from Toy USA and uh, seen a lot of people get some good uh, value back. So we'll see how my luck is. All right, so right away I see there's uh, Four boxes in there. So tear off this bubble wrap here. Try not to look. You get a little surprised when you pull them out. So it doesn't feel like any of them are in any type of protectors. So let's pull out the first one and see what we get here. All right, so it looks like it's a Deadpool. It's a Walgreens exclusive. I don't have that one. So that'll go up on my shelf with the rest of my Marvel Pops. And I'm not really seeing any immediate damage to it. Everything, everything with that little corner damage. You can see right there, a little corner damage, but uh, it's in the back, on the bottom, um, so you won't, I won't see it, no one else will see it, but definitely cool pop. After I open them all up, we'll check out the prices on uh, Pop Price Guide. Um, let's see, let's grab another one. I'll just keep turning it backwards. Oh, shoot, Greedo. Definitely been wanting this. This is, uh, was on their, on their, their face page when they were doing the drop, so uh, this is a definite keep. So I've been wanting this one. This is awesome. See all those different pops. And uh, again, don't see much damage on these. Uh, there is a little, little nick right there, but I don't mind that, this is awesome. So uh, awesome pop. This will definitely be in my collection. I'll probably put this in a a plastic case. All right, so we've got two more. Let's see, I think that might be my biggest hit right there, at least for me. Oh my gosh, here's another one I've been wanting. This is a holographic emperor, glow in the dark. So uh, I think this was another one that was on their, uh, their Instagram when they posted this drop. So uh, the main reason I bought this one is they did post a lot of Star Wars as their main drops. So this one is uh, pretty much mint. I don't see any damage on that one, nowhere. So cool, two more pops to my Star Wars collection and one marble. So I don't have any duplicates. So it's going good so far. Oh shoot, I kind of made a peek at this one. So this is one my daughter will probably want. But uh, I don't even think she has this one. It's a Harley Quinn. And uh, I think she's, is she out of whack on there? No, I think that's just where she's standing. But uh, Batman, Harley Quinn. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I 
don't see any damages. Uh, there's barely a little nicks. Like I said, this was a damaged mystery box. And even though the box that came in had a little smash in it, I don't look like, it doesn't look like it, it damaged the pops in the box, so. There's that. So let's look at the value for this box. I'm thinking I'm pretty good. It did pretty good. It was $60 and it was uh, came out to like $17 for shipping, which I thought that was kind of high, but uh, we'll see how that affects my value. All right, I'm just gonna look at my phone real quick. And why is this thing? Let me look. All right, well, PPG's acting up on me right now, so I'm just going to go to the Funko app. So I think only one of them has a sticker, so it shouldn't really be that big of an issue. So the Greedo is only only nine dollars, which uh, I don't mind because uh, it's something that I'm going to add to my collection. So we got nine, and uh, let's go with uh, Deadpool. That Deadpool comes in at ten, so that's nineteen. Um, hopefully, we start getting more value on these because at nineteen and kind of far away. All right, let's go Harley Quinn. Now Harley Quinn's only nine, so it's 28. So is Holographic Emperor more than 30? Ooh. So, uh, this one right here comes in at, uh, $41. So, uh, toy exclusives, awards come. So, yeah, I didn't know it was that much. So, I made value. Uh, I don't know if it covered the shipping and handling, but, uh, trying to find these pops and trying to buy them, I probably had to pay more trying to find it on eBay or something like that, so... Very rare to see these in stores. So I think they did pretty good. I'll give them another shot. So I'm gonna redo this uh, Deadpool because I'm not sure if I got the right sticker on there. But yeah, so Deadpool was uh, $10. So 19. Plus the 41, it's 60 plus uh, Harley Quinn, so about $70. And it came out to 77 with uh, shipping and handling. So pretty good on that. Um, I do got another mystery box uh, from Shumi. Um, that one's only $25, uh, and some tax. Uh, I said it before, Shumi's close by, so rather than paying shipping, I uh, just go pick it up. So. Let's see how that one is. It's also $25, it's guaranteed value. I've done pretty good on Shumi in the past. So, uh, and I like Shumi, they put them in protective uh, cases. And I believe they have their their new, new protective cases that they're shipping out with all their pops. So this should come with their brand new cases. In there pretty well packaged and like I said, both of them are in uh, protective cases so uh, this is the Dragon Balls uh, I don't have any Dragon Balls I don't really collect Dragon Balls I've never seen any of the animations for this but uh, Dragon Ball Z Vegeta um, I think this one is a pretty high value one. I'm not sure. I think I've seen it on another mystery box openings, but uh, it looks pretty cool. 
But if we want to tell, there's a lot of different uh, Dragon Balls out there as far as animations or anime, however you want to say it. But uh, that's cool. Let's check out that one. And uh, all right, let's go for the second one. Oh, it's Batman. Um, I don't have any Batman. This is my first Batman. This is uh, PX Previews exclusive. Um, it's pretty nice, pretty cool looking. Like I said, this is my first uh, Batman. Don't have that many DC pops. But uh, those ones are cool. Let's see how much those ones are. Like I said, bought those two for 25. I'm thinking the Vegeta Dragon Balls might be more than 25. All right, so this is on the Funko app. The uh, Batman Red Death Metal comes in at uh, 13. So I'm pretty sure that Vegeta is more than, more than 12. So uh, let's check it out. And uh, I'll put a link in my, uh, my video for both uh, Toy Yusei and Shumi. If you guys are interested, take a look at their sites. So, uh, and then let's, it doesn't have a sticker on this, but, uh, the one on, uh, on the site comes in at 17, doesn't have the sticker on there, but, uh, PPG is showing it at 17 and I'm not sure if this is metallic or not. It doesn't look metallic. Well, I guess the body looks metallic. So, I was looking at the hair. So, cool. So, definitely between the two was what, 17 and uh, what was the other one? 17 and 13. So, $30 got my value. So they're all pretty good pops, so I'll probably keep them all. And the Harley Quinn, I'll probably give it to my daughter. That's pretty much her whole collection is Harley Quinn, and she doesn't have that one, so she'll be happy for that one. So that's it for the mystery boxes. I have one purchase from the Funko shop, um, so we'll open that up. is going to be the the toucan and this is the ones that have the collector pins with it we did uh, did get the first one they came with uh, the little passport book but uh, that's pretty pretty bright colors pretty vibrant uh, as you can see it has the pen in there uh, we have the passport book but I don't know what do you guys think about taking the pins out of the box and putting in the passport. Um, I like to display my pops in the box. So when I take the pin out, it kind of like leaves a void in there. So for now, this is the second one in the series. I'm kind of leaving them in there for right now. We'll see down the road when I get more. So we were lucky enough to order the first, uh, first one and got the passport book for free. That was the, the Barkingham. So now you can buy the passport book for $5 on their site. So, but uh, definitely cool. So well, there's a little, little dent in the back of it, but not bad. But anyway, that's, uh, that's all I have for today. Um, I, sh I will be ordering some more mystery boxes. I'm looking for some different companies to try out. Uh, I'm always looking for some variety. So, uh, 
I'll let you know what uh, I have planned for the future. But uh, if you like my video, like it, subscribe, um, let your friends know. Um, and uh, this is uh, Big Country Time. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you later.